What's up guys? Fishbricks85 here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at this DC Multiverse Joker made by McFarlane Toys. He comes with this long gated pistol right here with the long barrel. A lot like the one that was used in the original Batman movie with Jack Nicholson. And then of course we have a, a staple of the Joker. Something that always lets us indicate that it is the Joker. Uh, one of my favorite places that he actually used this crowbar was in the Injustice video game. Uh, he used to really pommel and, and beat the crap out of his uh, opponents with this um, crowbar. So this is definitely a staple of the Joker. A weapon that he is always known for is his crowbar. Uh, this is a really wicked and cool looking figure. I really like the paint detail and the, the smile and the hair. Of course, um, you know, the only downside of this figure is it is a McFarlane toy. Uh, and those are really known for the parts falling off, especially the heads. Um, well, most commonly, actually, I think the only thing I know about McFarlane toys as far as anything breaking is usually the heads. So, um, that's the only reason why I'm not going to take this figure out of the package. I would love to take him out and get a look at him. I would like to use him in some, uh, pictures and things, but I'm not going to risk it because I just have that feeling that, you know, I'm going to go to pose him or something and his head's just going to pop right off and then that's just going to suck and be terrible for me, you know? So I'll just keep them in the package. Um, this was actually an early Christmas gift for my wife. Uh, let's flip this around and take a look at the back. This is the Joker uh, DC Rebirth. Um, so I guess this is from the Rebirth comic series. So I'm guessing that's what McFarlane was going for here was he was trying to make it look like the Joker from the Rebirth, um, which is actually pretty cool too. I love this picture on the back of the Joker with his hair down in his face and he's got that wicked grin going on. And then, of course, there's some other characters in the collection. Uh, right here we see Batman Earth-32, uh, Batman Earth-1, Azrael, Batman Earth-44, and the Grim Knight. Uh, I've seen a couple of these figures. I looked them up online. The one I'm most interested in here would probably be Azrael. Uh, these other Batmans, they're they're cool. Uh, the Green Lantern Batman over here from Earth-32 is pretty cool looking. Uh... Dark Knight, what does it say? Dark Knight's Metal. Dark Knight's Metal. Batman Curse of the White Knight. Dark Knight Metal. And then just the Grim Knight. So I'm guessing these are probably different comic book series. I don't know too much about the comics. Um, I pretty much just watch the DC movies. Uh, and, and I'm more hip to the DC uh, like animated movies and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, I can't really say too much. I don't know. Now, I do know that the rebirth i believe that's from a comic series and i only know that again from the the video game injustice uh i haven't even had the chance to play the second injustice yet uh, i've only played the first one so you know i'm kind of excited for that i hope that one of these days soon i will be getting a playstation 4 so that way i can play i know everybody's hyped for the new playstation 5 coming out i haven't even made it to playstation 4 yet uh, i stay kind of behind on game systems because i'm not a huge gamer uh, it takes me a while before I, I try to get them when they're really cheap. I don't, I don't buy them when they're brand new when they first come out. But uh, anyway, so this is just a, a look at the McFarlane Toys uh, DC Joker. Um, I think this is a great looking figure. If any of you guys have taken this out of the package and you haven't had issues with the head falling off, please let me know down in the comments below. Uh, because then I might actually, uh, you know, consider taking a different stance on this and actually taking him out of the package as long as I know his head's not going to fall off on me. Because, um, you know, a headless joker would be a bummer for me and it would ruin my holiday season. So as always, guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it that big blue thumbs up. Um, if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I'm pretty sure we're all ready for 2020 to be over. It has been just a really bad year for everything that has happened. So here's looking to a better 2021. Uh, hopefully we're going to see some new cool DC stuff coming out in 2021. Uh, some movies and hopefully we can all get back to lives as normal. Um, anyway guys, as always, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.